Okay guys, here we are today in the F15E. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, fix the issue that we've been having lately with the Strike Eagle regarding the radar not working. So first things first, let's select the Strike Eagle that we have in the air and hit OK. Um, this is my air-to-air -air engagement, engagement mission that I have set up for myself. Um, it's kind of how I train. We're going to get in the aircraft. And as you can see, my radar and the air-to-air -air mode is not working. I don't have the, uh, the carrot moving left and right for either a two or four bar scan. Give me a moment. <clears throat> All right, and as you can okay, give us a moment. Sorry about the, the delay with the fidelity coming back. But as you can see, the radar is on and it's not working. All right, so let's hit escape and quit. All right, now what I'm going to do is hit left alt tab and I'm going to go down to my computers, I'm not worrying about anything in DCS. I can't show you because of the uh, recording software that I have. I haven't figured out how to show you all uh, screens. But anyways, hit left alt tab and then go to the date and time in your computer and uh, I'm hitting right select and then I'm going to adjust date and time and from there uh, my computer is showing me a screen and yours may be a little different but I've got my set time or set time automatically turned on um, so I'm going to turn that off and now I've got an option to that says set the date and time manually and then the uh, option gives me a button to hit change so I'm selecting change and now I've got another screen that says change date and time and at today is the 17th of June 2024 so I'm selecting the date and I'm changing it from the 17th to the 12th of June 2024 and I'm selecting change and now at the bottom right of my computer um, it's showing the time for me where I'm at at 7:30 in the morning. I'm in, in the Middle East, and the date now is showing the 12th of June, 2024. So I'm exiting out of that. Let's go back to uh, DCS. Now with that same mission, I'm hitting fly again. Going to the same aircraft I selected before, which is the Strike Eagle in the air. I'm hitting OK. And let's hit Fly. Let's select that. Alright, so now as you can see, with my left MPD, radar is working. Simply by just changing the date and time of the computer. Just like last time the radar was on, it's on again. It's working. Steering cursor is moving, range is moving, so it's a quick and easy fix, and I hope it helps you guys. I know a lot of guys are jumping off the ship and refunding their Strike Eagle package, but I mean that took me literally 30 seconds just to change the date and time um, while I'm already in DC, or rather after I'm already in DCS, changing the date and time, and now I can use the radar as needed. Um, I never use the aircraft or the radar in its air-to-air -air mode, or excuse me, air-to-ground mode, um, but at least with the air-to-air -air radar, it's working fine now, and you guys can test out whether it's working in the air-to-ground mode, um, and most of the DCS guys, you know, I'm an F-15C guy, um, most of the DCS guys kind of crap on the C model, you guys like full fidelity because you like, quote, clicking things so I mean that took 30 seconds all I did again left alt tab and then I just changed the date and time on my com on my computer to the 12th of June and now the radar is working um, shout out to 10 men with the 8th virtual fighter squadron the 90th uh, training squadron commander he's the one who told me how to do that so I'm just putting out a video I haven't seen any other video on YouTube or anything else uh, that kind of shows you how to do this but with that said I hope this helps and um, hopefully that'll give you another option with the strike eagle as opposed to just 
getting a refund or asking uh, DCS for a refund. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a good one. Appreciate you guys checking out the video.